him to meet me here on the climb. Where the hell is he? Wait. Dad! What are you doing? I'm on holiday. Jimbo, it's brilliant. Thank you very much for bringing me out to such a wonderful place. No. What? Yeah, you've got to earn your holiday. Oh, no. Come on, you've got to climb. What have we got to do? Come on. A climb? Oh, God, I thought I was on holiday. Oh, bloody hell. Riders that take on the tough, unrelenting gradients of Sacalombra range between world tour pros and just keen amateurs. But what I want to find out is how an e-bike will get on against me on my superbike. Well, will it even make it up and how fast will it go? I'm going to ride a very high 800 metre climb here in Majorca. It's going to be tough, I think. I'm really not looking forward to it. I don't know why I've been asked to do it. I haven't ridden a bike for nearly two years now. Totally unfit. It's getting pretty hot now and uh, I'm really not looking forward to it at all. The only reason I possibly could even think about doing it is because I've got an e-bike. For me to do it on a normal bike would be out of the, you know, it just wouldn't happen. With an e-bike it's given me a chance and I hope to uh, make it count. If I make it I'm going to feel really good I tell you but at the moment I'm feeling a bit worried about it. This is my brand new Orbea Omex custom paint job. Now it might remind you of a very popular fast food restaurant, so I've named it Ronald. Ronald, meet audience, audience, meet Ronald. And I can't wait to see this beautiful bike fly up Sacalabra. Now I've paired it up with the Vision Metron 55 SL carbon rims. Now I've got 12 speed SRAM red group set. It's got a 48 on the front and a 28 is my lightest gear on the back. If you ask me, not only does this look good, but I hope it goes fast too. I wonder what Dad's riding. Can't be as good as that, surely. Gosh, you look Enough, good. enough! What the viewers really want to see is what my weapon of choice is. What I have here is a Pinarello Nitro. What do you reckon, James? I've got to say, Dad, good choice in bike. I like how you've gone for a Pinarello. And uh, this is actually their e-bike, isn't it? I need every bit of E, I can tell you, to come up this hill. Yeah, now it's got a Vizua Evasion motor in there that kicks out a whopping 400 watts. Nominal power is 250 watts, but you've got three zones. You've got green and you've got blue, and then you've got the big boost mode, which is purple. And I think that's the one I'll be in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you will be. Now, this is definitely a race-focused machine, but it's got slightly relaxed geometry compared to Pinarello's other racy more. Well, I'm not worried about that. I think uh, the relaxed mode will suit my style of riding. It's got a nice soft seat as well, which it helps. I've got to say, Dad, I never thought you'd be riding a machine quite like this one. So I'll be pretty impressed if you got your Lego with that. So will I. Do you want to have a crack? Yep, let's go. We made it here to the iconic bottom of Sacalobra. One of the best and most iconic climbs in the world for a cyclist. Are you ready? Now is the time where we find out if Dad aboard his Pinarello Nitro e-bike will beat my new Orbea Superbike with the next professional cyclist aboard it. Right, here goes. Are you ready? A bit nervous. Let's go. So here we are, Dad. We just left the port to Sacalobra and the, the climb is actually called Col de Ris. Yep. As you can see there, it's 9.5 kilometers long and it's 7% average. Now, this is a genuinely big challenge for any bike rider. Yeah. So you, for you just to make it up is gonna be a huge, huge feat. Um, but if you can beat me, <laughs> there's, that, there's a big bottle of champagne waiting for you at the finish. Okay, I'm on for that. But are you a bit, like, how are you feeling now? Well, looking at it, I'm really nervous. Yeah. You know, I can feel my heart bunting around already. So uh, be interested to see how I get on. Yeah. Just take just, just take it steady. Yeah. And just you, you, this is 
like a genuine iconic ride of Cyprus. So what I'm planning on doing is just keep a nice steady pace yeah. all the way up if I can. Right. I'm nervous for you actually. I'm really. But nervous. I think this is going to be quite something we're going to do together. Yeah. All right. Okay. I will beat you, but it's going to be a big challenge. Right, well, I hope you do. You ready, big man? I'm ready. I'm, okay. If you make it up here, I'm going to be literally, I'm going to be so proud of you. Okay. All right. We're we on? Yeah. Let's go. Three. Uh, what? Where's it? Dad? Dad, no, we haven't started yet. Well, we just started. I'm not sure I'm going to do this. It's a long way. So this is the climb I have ridden a lot. I've ridden it with teams, I've ridden it with guests, I've ridden it on training camps, but this is the first time I've ever even had an inkling that my father would join me here. And now he's actually taking it on. This is a genuine massive challenge for anyone. And I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of him, even thinking about attempting something like this, even with an e-bike. How's he going to get on? I'm not sure, but I reckon he's going to pick up the pace on the steep sections. So I'm getting a bit of a head start, but bloody hell is he doing a good job and I'm so kind of proud of him. I hope he makes it to the top now. Bloody awful. <sighs> My mouth is dry. There's a long way to go. And I'm feeling pretty knackered already. <sighs> Here we are. The climb started about a K or two into it. And I kind of knew he was going to struggle against me on those flatter sections where I'm just kind of pulling away with the speed, but I wanted to get a bit of a head start before we ramp up to the steeper sections where the e-bike can access all that torque and all that power. Maybe a little bit more powerful than my legs. This is something that is so far out of Dad's comfort zone. And I bet he never thought in his wildest dreams he'd be coming racing alongside me on a bicycle up one of the most iconic climbs in the world. But here we are. And I've got a big buzz from it, I've got to say. This is difficult. I think I'm about halfway now, but if anyone's seen the Tour de France, people going up these steep coals, it is incredible. I've got a bit of E in it, E motor helping, but even so, sun's beating down. I'm not sure I'm going to make this. Ah. is gonna last. I'm down to about half a charge. I'm about halfway and halfway on the batteries. It's dawning on me that I can't see dad. He hasn't ridden a bike in 22 years and I've taken to him the most iconic climb, one of the hardest climbs. And it's not really the point is it? This is the first time ever I've been able to take dad away riding a climb that I've ridden and letting him turned Sackle Opera into a challenge of his own. I shouldn't be racing against him. I should be riding with him. I should be encouraging him. I should be helping him get over a challenge 
he never thought was possible. So guys, I'm going to turn around and help my dad up this climb. Are you right? Ah, Jimbo, God. Are you okay? I'm not sure I'm going to make this. You sure? How far have we got? Well, how far have we got to go? Well, look, look down. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, look how far you've been. Uh, unreal. I think you should be proud of yourself for how far you've gone. Uh, I'll just get Already. my breath back and then I. How are you feeling though? Genuinely. One. Yeah, genuinely. The battery's getting a bit low. Uh, three, three bars left. How far have we got? We've got about. Three, four k to go. All right. Bye. You're generally doing an amazing job, but um, what, how, what, how does this challenge equate to something you've done before? Well, something I've done before is like skiing in Colorado when you're lack of oxygen. But what yeah. I'm feeling now is my legs can start feeling like jelly. Yeah. You know, pressed down and they just don't want to work. Uh, you know, I catch my breath. I'm okay. Um, you know, I'm feeling good now. So uh, perhaps I can make a few more bits. Should we do it together? Let's go. I love you, Dad. You're gonna kill. You're gonna kill it. You've got more four cat tattoos than I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Go, on, mate. Big challenge. Let's go. So what you want to do, Dad, is just focus on using your gears and keeping that high cadence, and then that engine or that motor will kick in. So just let the motor do the work on these steep bits. You do really well. Look, see that, Dad? Yeah. See that? That's where we need to aim. That's that tunnel. And then we're only 2K from the, K from the top. Oh, go on, dig in. You can do it. There we go. There's that tunnel over there on the left. That's what we're aiming for. Think about it. It's like the army, but you're not being shot at. It's boot camp. This is that big bucket list challenge you never wanted to do. So now, now what you want to do is just focus on your breath. So deep breath. One last push. One last push. Let's do it. You good? May need to stop. Now nah, you can do it. Let's let's challenge ourselves all the way to the top. Yeah. All the way to the top, Dad. This is what cycling is all about. I don't care who you are. Sacalabra is a tough, tough climb. 9.5 kilometers, 7%. Have we ever, well, we've dreamt of doing something like this yeah. before. I bet he would say on a motorbike, but this is genuinely, well, doing it for me. You're killing it. Like, come on, Dad, literally, we're just at the top. We're just at the top. <laughs> come on, Dad, you got this. I think he's on his last legs. I think this is the only time that dad has really struggled <laughs> to do anything. Hasn't ridden a bike in 22 years and been on the bike three times only because I've made him and, uh, and now he's 100 meters away from achieving climbing up Saclobra, albeit with an e-bike. But even still, this is a monumental effort and I'm uh, super proud actually. Last push. Last push, go Come on. on. All the way right, all the way, all the way to the side. Don't stop. Keep going, keep going, 682 meters. Uh, Lee, there, keep going, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. High five, you killed it. <sighs> well done. Wow. You're too high, Hey, uh, man. <sighs> yeah, you too, that guys, thank you. Unbelievable. I don't care what people say about e-bikes, to do that with my son was something I, I never thought I'd do. Oh. I mean, great, thanks for your help. I think I'd have done it without you and the e-motor. What do you think? You just, you just basically conquered one of the most uh, iconic climbs in uh, cycling. It was amazing. That was hell of a steep climb. High five. High five. Killed it, mate. Got one. One bar, you literally did it with one bar oh, left. Yeah. Right. What do we do now, go down again? Now you can enjoy it.
Well, I know I had to do a few stops to get up here, but I did it. I did it the whole way myself. I've got to say this bike is fantastic, but you do have to work at it. It's not a motorbike, it's definitely an assist. Uh, and there's some bits that felt quite easy, some bits that felt incredibly difficult. Um, but I'm really pleased with myself having got up here. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do, and to do it with James is just an incredible feeling. Get up here. Boy. I was really nervous about not making it. That was what was really kind of making me drive it on. But there were stages where, you know, I just had to stop, get my breath back. As soon as I got my breath back, you know, I was good. I think, you know, anyone unfit and out of practice, get yourself an e-bike and you can do some of the most amazing climbs in the world, really. And uh, you get the same sense of achievement, I think, if you would have done it on an ordinary, ordinary bike. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I didn't kill myself, which is a, a bonus. And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting down and uh, grabbing a beer off my son. All we've got to do now is go back down again. So uh, let's get going. having survived Menorca. I just hope uh, I might have inspired a few people to get out on a bike and try and do something outrageous like I've just done. So if you've enjoyed the program, please give us a big thumbs up. And uh, if anyone's got any ideas for any future challenges, let us know in the comments.